children welcome to the mathematics class for 9th today our topic is quadrilateral now we want to understand what quadrilateral is if we take any four points such that no three points are collinear that is that no three points out of four should be lie in a straight line and when these four points are joined in an order it forms a figure that is called a quadrilateral so a quadrilateral is an enclosed four-sided figure which has four angles, four vertices, four sides and two diagonals. The four sides of the quadrilateral are, you can see, it is AB, BC, CD and DA. The four line segments joined in an order. The four angles of that quadrilateral are it is angle A or you can say angle BAD, angle B or angle ABC, angle C or angle BCD, angle D or angle ADC. And the four vertices of a quadrilateral are A, B, C and D. Where the two lines meet in a point is the vertex of a quadrilateral. The four vertices of the quadrilateral are A, B, C and D. Now, in a quadrilateral, we have four sides, four angles, four vertices and two diagonals. Now, we want to know in a quadrilateral what the adjacent sides mean. If any two sides of a quadrilateral have one point in common. We call them adjacent sides. There are four pairs of adjacent sides in a quadrilateral. They are AB and BC. You can see B is the common point between line segment AB and BC. So AB and BC are adjacent sides. Similarly, we have BC and CD where C is the common point between the two line segments. So, BC and CD are adjacent sides. Similarly, we have AD and CD and AD and AB. In all, we have four pairs of adjacent sides in a quadrilateral. Now, we have adjacent angles of a quadrilateral. In a quadrilateral, if any two angles have common arm, the angles are said to be adjacent angles. You can see between angle A and angle B, angle A can be called as angle BAD and angle B can be called as angle ABC. You can see between these two angles, AB is the common arm. Where two angles are having the same common arm, we call them adjacent angles. And we have four pairs of adjacent angles in a quadrilateral. The adjacent angles are angle DAB and angle ABC, where AB is the common arm. Angle ABC and angle BCD, where BC is the common arm. Angle DCB and angle DCA, where DC is the common arm. Angle CDA and angle DAB, where DA is the common arm. So, between the two angles, when there is a common arm, we call them adjacent angles of a quadrilateral. We have four pairs of adjacent angles in a quadrilateral. After that, we have opposite sides. If you again look at quadrilateral ABCD, you will find that side AB and CD have no common point. So, we can call them opposite sides. Similarly, AD and BC have no common point, so they can be called as opposite sides. So, in all quadrilateral has two pair of opposite sides. Now, opposite angles of a quadrilateral. In a quadrilateral, if any two angles have no common arm, they are said to be opposite angles. In quadrilateral ABCD, you can see angle BAD and angle BCD do not have any common arm. So, they can be called as opposite angles. 
Similarly, angle ABC and angle ADC are opposite angles. So we have two pairs of opposite angles in a quadrilateral. And in a quadrilateral, when you join, join two points of the opposite sides with a line segment, you get another line which gets across the quadrilateral that is called a diagonal. You can see AC, point A and C is joined by a line segment and similarly B and D is joined by a line segment. These form the diagonals of a quadrilateral. The sum of four angles of a quadrilateral is always equal to 360 degree. We call this the angle sum property of a quadrilateral. There are various types of quadrilaterals which we name them according to their sides and angles. When the pair of opposite sides are parallel, we call it a parallelogram. A special type of quadrilateral, if you look at this visual, you will see that a quadrilateral ABCD where AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC. The quadrilateral so formed is called a parallelogram. Apart from this, a parallelogram has equal opposite sides, that is their opposite sides are equal, that is AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC. Opposite sides are parallel, AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC. The opposite angles are equal, angle BAD is equal to angle BCD, angle ABC is equal to angle ADC. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. By, by bisection, we mean that it gets divided into two equal parts. The line segment of OA of diagonal AC will be equal to OC and the line segment OB of diagonal BD will be equal to OD. That is the measurement for OA and OC will be the same and the measurement for OB and OD will also be same. This is called the bisection of the diagonals. Another thing is that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Now we have another type of quadrilateral, it is called a rectangle. Now what is a rectangle? You can call it is a parallelogram, that means all the properties of a parallelogram are included in a rectangle. That is, the rectangle has opposite sides equal and parallel, the diagonals bisect each other and in addition to that, a rectangle has equal diagonals and each of its angle is equal to 90 degree each. You can see angle BAD, angle ABC, angle BCD and angle ADC all are equal to 90 degree each that is a rectangle has each angle or right angle and also the diagonals of a rectangle are equal that is AC is equal to BD. Now we have another type of quadrilateral it is called a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral whose all sides are equal or you can say it is a parallelogram where all sides are equal. All the properties of a parallelogram or a quadrilateral are included in rhombus. All the sides of rhombus are equal. You can see that in a rhombus ABCD the sides AB, BC, CD and DA are equal and in addition to that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles. That is, if you draw diagonal AC and BD, both intersect at point O. Hence, the angles made at point O will always be equal to right angle, that is 90 degree. So, angle AOB, angle BOC, angle COD and angle AOD, each is equal to 90 degree. Hence, we conclude that the rhombus is a special type of parallelogram whose opposite sides are 
suppose opposite sides are parallel, all sides are equal, diagonals bisect at right angles. There is another type of special quadrilateral which is called a square. You can say that all the properties of a rhombus are included in a square. That is, in a square, all sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel, each angle is equal to 90 degree, and the diagonals bisect at right angles. Apart from this, you can see in a square, each angle is equal to 90 degree, angle BAD, angle ABC, angle ADC and angle BCD each is equal to 90 degree that is the right angle and the diagonals BD and AC bisect at right angles that is AOB, BOC, COD and DOA they form right angle each that is 90 degree each and apart from this the angles of the square that is angle ABC, angle BAD angle BCD and angle ADC all are 90 degree each. In addition to that the diagonals of a square are equal that is diagonal AC is equal to diagonal BD. There is another type of a quadrilateral what we call a trapezium. A trapezium is a quadrilateral you can see where one of pair of its opposite sides is parallel. So, a trapezium has only one property that all the properties of quadrilateral are included in a trapezium. In addition to that, one of its pair of opposite sides is parallel. You can see in trapezium ABCD, AB is parallel to CD, or in another figure, you can see AD is parallel to BC. Such type of quadrilateral is called a trapezium. There is another type of quadrilateral, what we call a kite. A kite is a quadrilateral whose adjacent sides are only two pair of adjacent sides are equal. You can see from the figure, side AB is equal to side BC and side AD is equal to side CD. You can call it a kite. We now know what are the different types of quadrilaterals how can we uh, find what type of quadrilateral we are given? Any type of quadrilateral, one thing remains the same that the sum of the four angles is always equal to 360. Whether it is parallelogram, a square, a rectangle, a rhombus, a kite, or a trapezium.